If you're looking to make a career out of 3D rendering, you've probably considered joining Fiverr and offering your services there. So here are six tips that will help you get to $3,000 a month in Fiverr. Now, before I start with all that, I want to make sure that I emphasize that I started my first international 3D rendering project through Fiverr. And all of these steps are proven methods that have worked for me and many of my other colleagues which I've passed all of these lessons to. When you're starting out as a 3D artist in the industry, it can be very hard to attract clients when you have no other testimonials or reviews or a good portfolio in general. In such cases, offering your services for lower prices than industry standards would work best to avoid all of the competition. And I know that it's unusual to come for me since I believe that 95% of 3D artists are actually undercharging their clients but this is a whole different scenario. I think in five years you should aim as much as possible to get a lot of work in the beginning. That way when you have reviews, you will rank up higher in search. And not only that, when people actually find your profile, you will be a little bit more trustworthy. And honestly, in all of your projects, but especially in the first ones in Fiverr, you should definitely over deliver. You don't want to mess around with bad reviews in the beginning because it can be detrimental to your career in Fiverr. Now reviews play a significant role in whether a client is going to choose you or not. They serve kind of like social proof and is often what pushes the potential clients to take the first step with you because if they see that a lot of people chose you, in their mind there is less risk in order to take you as one of their freelancers. Not only that, the more projects you do in the beginning you will have the chance to build up a portfolio which can help you get work even outside of Fiverr and you will just overall get more experience and skills not not only the skills of 3D rendering, but you will also get more experience in communicating with your clients, negotiation skills, and all of that. Maybe the last one, not so much because there's not much room to negotiate when you have low prices, but you get the idea. Step two is a quick one, and that is to pick a specific niche. I think that if I could contribute only one thing to getting a lot of clients in the beginning of my career in Fiverr, it is that I picked a very specific niche. Now, in every single one of my gigs, I would put Enscape in the title. And that is because when I was starting out, when someone would search up Enscape, there were only three or four gigs that would show up. And then I came along and took all of the demographic and basically there was no room for competition because I delivered the work way faster and I also was the Enscape guy. Anytime someone needed something done specifically with Enscape, I was the one that they were reaching out to. Now, step three is utilizing the maximum amount of gigs that you can use in your level. Now, I think this is very, very crucial and this maximizes your potential. In my opinion, the reason being is that more gigs you can put out, higher are the chances of you getting exposure. But you don't want to just put out random gigs like seven gigs that basically have the same title same thumbnail same service and all that in my opinion i think that you should test out different services you should test out different seo tags so search engine optimization you should test out different titles and something else that a lot of people overlook and don't usually test is testing out thumbnails so make sure that you're doing all of that try some a b testing that way you will know what works you can double down on that and you can post more gigs like the ones that are getting more impressions more clicks more messages and all of that now before we go to the next step make sure to click the first link in the description where you can join a program where i help you get to a six-figure business in just six weeks so step four is effective communication now for me to be honest with you not only in fiverr but in any other kind of platform anytime someone reaches out with me with something like hi sir hello dear sir hi dear something like that i never ever even open the message and I'm not sure if it's a cultural thing or anything like that, but still it's super annoying because I just know that there's not going to be a high quality conversation happening from that message. Now, keep in mind that you do want to be very professional on how you speak your ideas to the clients and how you negotiate everything. And also that is not the only aspect that you want to look this from. Now, when you're sending messages like hi, sir, and all of that stuff, that is kind of like bowing down to the potential client. And honestly, uh, don't even look at it that way because I think when you're trying to work with the client you should look at it more so as an equal collaboration and not in a way that you're just serving them or whatever else but all of that aside that is not the only aspect of communication that you should look for the other thing is that you want to be very fast and you want to have your communication speed intact now a lot of people are going to choose the first guy that replied i myself always had the fastest reply rate even if it was 12 a.m., even if it was 2 a.m., 
whatever time it was, unless I was sleeping, I would reply within a few seconds or a few minutes. Like honestly, I would argue that one of the main indicators of how most people select freelancers is the one that replies first because a lot of people are trying to get stuff done very fast and not waste time going back and forth with freelancers. Now talking about that, this next tip is a very simple one, but super, super effective. This tip has helped me double the amount of people that reached out to me. And that is always staying online in your tab in the computer. If what this does, if you don't know, when someone is searching for a service in the filters area in Fiverr, there's an option called online sellers. And basically what this does is that this will show results for only people that are online. This will ensure that if you are a buyer in Fiverr, you will get a faster response, especially when you're trying to create something very urgent and very fast. Now, a lot of people do hire like that. People want to get an immediate reply as fast as possible. So as soon as I started to keep my Fiverr tab open and then refreshing it every few minutes, as I said, doubled my message rate, also resulting in higher income in Fiverr. Now, Fiverr works all right if you're a beginner, but sometimes you don't have control when you're gonna get the next client. So if you want to take a look at proven methods of how you can get clients outside of Fiverr as a 3D artist, make sure to watch the video right here.